an amazing discovery in West Michigan. Crews found a young mastodon in Kent City. This finding, while surprising to many, isn't that unusual to some people in Michigan. Our Matt Whitcoast did some digging to find out why these animals are popping up in our state. Matt? The University of Michigan gets a call once a year about a mastodon. Researchers there say they find more of them than woolly mammoths in Michigan. They say our geography is a reason why they find them well preserved. So, and we were finding most of the animal there. I think about the only thing we didn't find was the skull. <laughs> A community and a team of researchers making a surprising discovery following routine road work. It's kind of unbelievable just knowing that it was here this whole time. Researchers say it's likely a 10 year old mastodon. Um, the guys and ladies here doing everything are doing a really great job at preserving everything. Scott Beld is a paleontology research assistant at the University of Michigan. Beld says they found a lot on the site. We did find uh, uh, three foot bones that were articulated that hadn't come apart from where they were and were preserved in the sediments that way. He says Michigan rich with water providing a good resource for preserving these bones. The reason we find them in Michigan is that they get uh, either die near uh, water holes or small lakes or the people might have killed them and stored meat in in the ponds and what happens is that the uh, bones will sink to the bottom old Courtney Clapp and her children join the few in Michigan finding these windows into our past we tend to find more mastodons than mammoths but uh, we find both in Michigan. In Rochester Hills one year ago, a young boy uncovering this mastodon tooth in a river right by a local trail. In Chelsea in late 2015, a large skull from a mammoth. Like these two, the newest discovery will head to the U of M for further examination. Uh, it would have been nice to find the tusk because then we can often get some more uh, uh, detailed work on the, the life of the animal. A recent article published in partnership with U of M researchers shows the life of one mastodon after studying its tusk. The tusk acts like tree rings, the oldest layer being on the outside. The research shows northeast Indiana was a mating area and this adult mastodon spent a significant time in Michigan. They move around, particularly the males, uh, uh, because the, the like modern elephants are matriarchal herds. So, you know, the females will be in a herd and they probably don't range as, as far as, as the males will. And when they get about 13 to, well, in their teens, um, they're kicked out of the matriarch, males are kicked out of the matriarchal herd. So then they'll roam farther uh, uh, than female mastodons. Our Kent City mastodon has one migration left. After its time at U of M, the animal is heading to the Grand Rapids Public Museum. So I've been on a lot of digs, nothing quite like this. I haven't spent a lot of time working with mastodons or you know, in a ditch with lots of water and mud, but uh, yeah, it's fantastic. You, just, you can't beat it. U of M says there's a delicate process they must go through before the bones are on display. They'll dry them slowly. Typically, it can take several months to a year. Reporting in studio, I'm Matt Whitkos, Fox 17 News.